Hey guys, it's Vera, and today I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite Holy Grail products. To me, a Holy Grail product is a product that I've been using for at least three to six months, sometimes five years or longer, so I wanted to talk to you about some of my favorites. Um, first up, we have the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I know you're probably thinking that I'm crazy for mentioning this palette, but it's a palette of basically five, five mattes and one demi-matte. Demi and the reason that I say this is a Holy Grail for me is because I use um, the color from here, Walk of Shame, almost every day to apply as a base on my uh, brow bone and crease, and it's awesome for blending out other shades. Um, you can wear this on its own if you want to make like a sexy dark look using Crave or you know blending the different shades to get together. But I like to use this with my brighter colors because I like to have like a bright shimmery color on the lid and then a matte crease, and I feel like that's very flattering with my eye shape. So this is an awesome Holy Grail palette with me because I bring it with me everywhere. Next, I want to say the, uh, talk about the Urban Decay lipsticks. Um, when Urban Decay released their lipsticks, I fell in love with them. The formula is fantastic. Um, they have like 22 different shades. Uh, my favorites happen to be Anarchy and Obsessed, which are, um, Anarchy is like a bright fuchsia pink and Obsessed is like a light candy pink. And um, I just, the formula is great, so I found them very comfortable to wear. And I love them. Um, next, we have Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've been using this for at least five years. Um, and one tube usually lasts me a year, so I feel like it's a really good buy for the money. It does an excellent job of locking my eyeshadow into place, and I really, really wish that I had known about eye eyeshadow primer when I first started wearing makeup. I was just thinking, and I have no idea why all of those times I went to the MAC counter, none of the MAC makeup assistants ever tried to sell me eyeshadow primer. You know, I was there buying eyeshadow, buying fine foundation. Nobody ever told me about eyeshadow primer. It kills me. So anyway, I'm happy that I have this eyeshadow primer, and I love it to bits. We have Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is my all-time favorite mascara. Um, when I first was sent a tube of it to review, I was skeptical because I was like, eh, I really can't find mascaras that work well for me. I feel like I constantly struggle. But this mascara this mascara formula is awesome. Um, this is my third tube that I'm on, so I really love it. It makes me happy. Basically, you can apply it directly out of the tube, but what I do is I use... Um, a metal lash comb and I apply the mascara to the lash comb and then brush up through my lashes. This keeps me from getting clumpy and this formula is great because it still builds up my lashes and as you can tell I actually look like I have lashes rather than having nothing there and they're not you know all scary looking and clumpy so this is an awesome mascara. I absolutely love it and I will continue using it until they stop making it because it works so well for me. Next we have Pixie Epoxy. This has been a holy grail for me for a couple years. Um, it's for basically shadow transformation. If you have like a really shimmery color or a duochrome color or like a like a color with lots and lots of like glittery particles or sparkles, this is a sticky base so it'll really um, enhance the color and help it stay in place so it doesn't like have a lot of fallout all, all over your face so it's awesome. Um, the runner-up for that is the Darling, Darling Girl Glitter Glue, which I do like and I'm learning to use, but I haven't been using it that long, and I have problems with the container in that it just sometimes will put out way too much product, way more than I need, and so I really like the fact that um, the, the uh, Pixie Epoxy has this doe foot, so I don't get out too much product at once, which makes it a lot easier for me to control when I'm applying it, so I really like that. Next, I have glass nail files. I have one of these from Cult Nails and one of these from KB Shimmer, but glass nail files, I've been using them for about a year. I wish I had known about them sooner because they make it so much easier to file your nails without having um, like little rips or tears, and it just seems to, I guess, seal your nail when you're filing with them. I think that's what uh, Maria said. So these are awesome, and I think everybody needs to be using a glass nail file. They are much better for your nails. And on the subject of nails, um, my favorite base coat is Colt Nails Get It On Base Coat. It just works better for me than anything else I've ever used. My favorite top coat is the KB Shimmer Clearly On Top top coat. And this is great because it's thick enough to cover up glitter without like causing major shrinkage. So I really like that. Next we have Colt Nails Nevermore. This is like my fourth or fifth bottle, maybe six, because I've given one as a gift to somebody. But I've bought a lot of these. It's my favorite black. It's perfect for doing nail art. You can just paint your nails black all on their own, and it looks really great. You can put glitter on top. You can um, use it for stamping. Anything you want to do, this is like the best one coat black because it's, it's you know, super pigmented. It's 
easy to use and it looks so good. I mean, I love it just on its own. It looks so beautiful. It's an awesome, awesome polish. So if you're looking for like the perfect black, this is it. I have found it. That's why it's a holy grail for me. I really love the Dermorganic Leave-In Shine Therapy. Basically, this is a heat protection, a heat protectant and um, like sort of like leave-in conditioner all in one. So before I go to blow dry my hair or on the rare occasions that I'm going to um, use a flat iron to heat style, I put this in my hair first. I'll spritz it in and then I'll um, comb through it and then I'll go ahead and do whatever I'm going to do. But it's awesome and it protects your hair. It has argan oil in it so it's, you know, it's very nutritious. <laughs> it's very good for your hair. So it's awesome. This is my third bottle. So that's not bad. Um, I prefer to style my hair using hair powder most of the time, hair powder or hairspray or a combination of both. This is Rock Your Hair Bombshell, and I really like it. Um, one of the things that was really hard for me whenever I went cruelty-free is I had to give up Redken products, and I love Redken hair products because they worked really well for me, but this has been a nice replacement for um, things like hair powder, like the Redken powder, powder Grip, and it works really well. So if you're looking for hair powder, you know, check this out. So the Paula's Choice Resist Antioxidant uh, Super Antioxidant Serum is one that I repurchased over and over again. Um, I like using this on its own. I will use it and mix it with the um, Clear Skin Hydrator. Um, these are basically two of my baseline products. So if I'm not testing out skincare products, these are the products that I go back to. And I think that they work really well. So I like them. They're awesome. Right now, because I'm testing out the Rejuvacy um, Serum and the Re Rejuvacy Skincare line, I'm not using these products. But, and I do really like these products, but I wanted to tell you that these, you know, about these products because they're holy grails. And so I've been using them for years. I think they're great products. If you're looking at Paula's Choice, these are two really good products to check out. Um, next, I wanted to talk to you about Supergoop. This is Supergoop Save Face SPF 35 AM Oil Free Moisturizer. I love using this in the mornings. Um, this is like my fifth tube. And you can see here's um, my previous tube that needs to be thrown away because it's all gone. This is three ounces. Um, this is the tube that I bought that was number four, but the pump jammed on it. So I was able to get a refund from the, uh, from where I bought it online. So I could buy my fifth bottle that works, but I really love this stuff. I make sure that I buy it before I run out of my previous tubes so that I'm not ever stuck without it because this has been, um, for me, the best moisturizer with SPF that I found for my face because it does not burn my eyes because I put my moisturizer all over my face, on my eyes, on my neck, on my chest, and on my hands. And so it's very important to me that whatever I'm using doesn't irritate my eyes because I already have allergies. My eyes water. They're annoying. I don't need to make it worse. So this pro product is awesome for me and I wanted to show you how crazy I am because yes, I have got you know, this tube, which I'm using, this tube, which, which is empty, I'm getting ready to throw it out, but I wanted to show it to you. And this tube, which came jammed, so I have to throw this one away because I haven't been able to figure out how to remove the um, the top from it to somehow save the salvage the body because I had a crazy idea that maybe I could just unscrew this and use the pump from this one, which still worked, but no, it, it didn't work. So anyway, yes, this is an awesome um, moisturizer with SPF. I absolutely love it. I've been using it for over a year. Highly recommend it. Next, I have my Super Goop mint, uh, Lip Balms. I have SI Berry and Mint Fusion. Mint Fusion is definitely my favorite. Um, these are SPF 30. I put these on every morning before I do anything else. And you can use them at night because they are moisturizing enough for at night. So they, ha they have like shea butter in them and everything. I definitely prefer the mint to the SI, but I have these like all over my house, like on my nightstand, in my purse, in my um, studio. So I love these little guys. These are these are the best um, daytime moisturizers for lips that I've found because they have the nice high SPF 30 and they're extremely moisturizing. So these are awesome. Next, I have the Paula's Choice Makeup Remover. <laughs> I've repurchased this several times over the past like year, year and a half because it's really gentle and um, my eyes are sensitive as I mentioned before and I have rosacea so my skin gets irritated really easily and when my skin gets extremely irritated right around the eyes, I get eczema at the corner of my eyes, which is extremely uncomfortable. But this product allows me to take off my makeup without um, causing my skin to get really red and sore and uncomfortable. So I, I love it for that reason and highly recommend it. So usually whenever um, I see Paula's Choice having a sale, I'll stock up and buy a couple of bottles of these so that I don't run out. Next we have the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Duo. This has been my perfect highlighter for close to two years. And I mean, I don't use it every time I highlight, but I use it a lot when I highlight, and you can see I've made quite a dent in it, but it's still going. I mean, you get a lot of product in this. It's like 0.35 OZ, so it's a, it's a lot of product for it, and I love the packaging. It's really cute, and it's gold, and the color itself works really well with my complexion. I love it. Next, I've got uh, my Wayne Goss brushes. 
these brushes have been life-changing for me when it's come to applying eyeshadow and blending. I think they're amazing. I especially love, um, this is the 8 brush. It's the mini push brush. I really love the 6 brush, which is the one that's kind of oval-shaped, but thin. Awesome for blending out. This is like the detail brush. It's the 5 brush. Yeah, the 5 brush is like the detail brush. This is the 4 brush, which is great for blending. And um, I have the rest of the rest of the uh, core brushes that he released, but and I think these are awesome. There are a couple other shapes that I wish that he had in his collection, but you know, maybe he'll come out with them. I'm hoping he'll come out with them. But these brushes are awesome. I absolutely love them, and I would hate to be without them. Um, next we have NARS Black Valley, and really the any of the NARS eye paints because I can use this product on my waterline and it sticks around. As I've mentioned, I have allergies. My eyes water a lot and they can get irritated from eye products so any like liner that I wear really needs to be long wearing both because I have a hooded eye shape and because of my allergies because my eyes will water and cause stuff to come off so this wears the longest of anything I've ever tried in my waterline the NARS light reflecting loose setting powder is definitely a holy grail for me because it does a nice job of obviously setting any like liquid or cream foundation that I'm wearing and helping it to stay in a pace but but my face doesn't look flat it seems to add some dimension to it and um, I also love the Silk Naturals Flattery Illuminating Powder, which definitely adds a little bit more shine, but I like to use that one specifically like on my cheekbone or under the eyes, because I, I feel like the amount of shimmer in it is enough to brighten that without looking like a disco ball. So um, I really love these two powders, and they're awesome. I've been using this one for almost a year, this one for probably two years. So they're definitely worth worth it. So anyway, those are some of my Holy Grail products. What are your Holy Grail products? Or hey, do you have any Holy Carp products? Awful products that you want to share. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.